Hey, folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. We've got Maxon writing in on the email. Uh, he says he's a new subscriber, and he's got a question. He says, could you discuss more about sending a camera into manufacturer for repair? Recent video on Shutter Life prompts me to ask. You mentioned sending in a Canon for shutter replacement. How long does that take? What is the cost? I am nearing retirement and I'm trying to learn as much as I can before purchasing. And your channel has been priceless. Thank you. Brackets, I'm considering the Canon 80D. Maybe I used or refurbished is best. Waiting and learning before the 4K edition arrives. I just never thought about the wear and tear on shutter until watching your video today. Keep up the great discussion and community. Watching from West Michigan. Well, thank you very much, Maxon, uh, and hello to West Michigan. I'm in Michigan every month uh, over in Port Huron, which is right across the border for Canadians here. From when when you come, I'm in Woodstock, so you end up in Sarnia, which is about an hour and a half, and boom, you're in Port Huron. Um, and I love Michigan; it's a great, it's a great spot. I actually, love Port Huron; it's a great little town, um, and I get some great deals over there. So, uh, hello to Michigan. Um, Interesting question. Uh, I personally have not had to send any cameras in for repair. I probably flip them more than your average person would. In other words, uh, I have a camera for a while and I either get an update or switch just because I'm a a bit of a gearhead that way. I always like uh, trying out new stuff. The longest I've probably owned a camera was maybe two years. And in that time, I never got the shutter up high enough to have a problem or just didn't have a problem. And I've never had, luckily, touch wood, uh, able to, uh, or knock on wood, had to send in a camera for repair. I've never had one break. Um, So uh, that's probably, as I said, a function of the fact that I don't hang on to them as long as a hobbyist or a somebody that doesn't shoot professionally. Uh, I don't shoot professionally as much anymore. I certainly don't shoot professionally full time. I still do some paid gigs, um, but most of what I'm doing is a lot of video and a lot of online work like this. Uh, and again, uh, I don't often have a camera longer than a year or until a new model comes out. For instance, I've got the Panasonic G85 here. Love this camera. Uh, it replaced the G7 for me, which I loved as well. However, um, I haven't had any problems with it at all. Love the camera. And I probably won't because by the time uh, Panasonic's wanting to send me the new version when it comes out or whatever I'm going to get next from them, uh, it won't be long enough to have probably put enough wear on it to exhibit an issue. Certainly haven't had any issues to date. Shot a lot of video with it. Fair bit of photography, mostly video. So um, I guess the the short answer here is I'm going to throw it back out to you guys because a lot of you folks out there, um, viewers and shooters out in in the world, whether you're hobbyists or pros or whatever, you've probably owned your cameras long enough to have experienced some problems. Uh, and you, some of you will have sent them back to the manufacturer for repair. So I would like to get your feedback. Let's help out Max and give him an idea um, by writing in. Leave your comments below. Uh, if you've had to send in your camera to the manufacturer for repair, let us know what your experience was. What was your camera? Well, uh, so we, what manufacturer, what model? What was the problem with the camera? What was the nature of the repair required? Uh, what was the experience in having to send it in? How long did it take? Were you satisfied with the repairs? Was there any problems with the repair when you got it back? Let us know your experience. Uh, like little mini user review. doesn't have to be long. Just, you know, let us know. Let's help out Max and to get an idea here. And I think everybody would be interested to read this and see what the, the general feeling was on, um, you know, is it generally a, a no problem deal or is it generally something that a lot of people um, have had problems doing? Let us know in the comments below. I'm curious to see this, the sampling from all of you folks um, to hear your experiences. Uh, thanks for your question, Max. And as I said, I, I really appreciate your question because I'm interested to hear everybody's responses um, to help you out. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.